Hi, my name's Eric Golden. Hi, my name is Steven Sun. We are uh, working for Talonix Communications in uh, Canada, and we do the repairs and maintenance on all Fitel cleavers and fusion splicers for uh, our customers in Canada. Today we're going to review the uh, cleaning and maintenance of the cleaver. So uh, Stephen's going to walk us through the uh, procedure. My pleasure. This is the uh, 325 cleaver from Fitel. Uh, we see quite a few of those, so perhaps we can walk through the cleaning and uh, maintenance procedures on these cleavers. So first of all, I guess the tools that we're going to use to clean it will be the alcohol, a swab, and a little uh, special little pr uh, tool that will show you the electrode that we'll show you later. Okay, Stephen, perhaps you can start from where we start. So we would clean blade for rubber pads. One, two, three, four, and one rubber pusher, pinch roller, and the V groove. Okay. So, so we start off with the uh, the most important thing, I guess, which would be the blade, right? Yeah. So we just uh, dip some alcohol. Alcohol, yeah. And clean. Okay. So you're cleaning in a fixed position there, and, and now. And then you're going to loose. loosen the set screw. And rotate a little bit. Rotate the blade. Yeah. Tight again. Okay. And clean. Clean again. Okay. Good. And loose and rotate at another position, tight, clean. Okay. So when to finish cleaning, make sure tight the screw, but never ever make it over tight. So just a light hand tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. next step will be go to clean the four pads. Four pads. And you're looking for just the uh, slight debris, uh, the plastic coating and so yeah. on when you're cleaning? And then maybe you should check, make sure there's no any little piece of fiber on it. Okay, and no damage to the pads. Mm -hmm. okay. And then let it natural dry. Okay. And sometimes the pad is uh, severely contaminated, you need second or third try clean. Oh, okay. I suppose that's a good procedure any time to do it a second yep. time just to make sure anyway. Okay. And the next step will go clean the rubber pads. So first you use the thumb to push it and make sure it's moved freely. Right. Right. Clean it. And I assume you could probably take that out and get clogged up, you could also take it out and clean it. Uh, no, you no. just clean okay. here this okay. area a little bit. Okay. And you can even you can dip some uh, alcohol inside right. and uh, push okay. several times. Okay. Now so after you do that, I guess the V grooves are next. Next would be pinch roller. Oh, sorry, pinch roller. Of pinch roller is just like this. Put the swab on the pinch roller and push the lever. Okay, so you get a cleaning action all around the pinch roller. Couple of times. And I notice that pinch roller has some wear on it. I'm assuming that's okay. Yeah, if if the fiber after cut, the fiber will not uh, automatically uh, drop in the dust bin. So that means the pinch roller is all worn out. Uh, you need to be replaced. Okay. This should be replaced. So the last thing I guess would be the V grooves. And the V groove. So right now we'll use the electrode, okay. just a gently. From the inside to outside, and uh, clean some dust. Just try to get any kind of grit that would be in there. Okay. And then use the swap. Very good. That's it. Oh, okay. okay. Don't forget here. Oh, the top pad. Yeah, to close down on. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah, you're welcome.